I'm Lon Helton with Country Countdown USA, and I always watch LBTV. I'm joined by a top country star who stops by the studio to give me a hand in counting down the hits along this week. Luke Bryan, how are you? I'm great. Good, good. good. We are life, just uh, uh, life is a, good. A, a little removed from the uh, CMA award show. You've uh, recovered, I take it? We recovered. I uh, had a great night and, and, and you know, getting to open the show with uh, with Jason and Eric on, on the song oh, that man. we have out was, was really, I mean, when you talk about moving to town with dreams and here you are opening the cma awards and it was a, a really amazing night for me i understand you hosted the red carpet for ellen degeneres yeah yeah i did it last year right and uh and yes yeah, so ellen asked me to uh, uh asked me to do it this year and what was funny is we got you know they're doing all that construction downtown so we get in a awful traffic situation trying to get to the red carpet all right go I, i'm jumping out can you hang slow all right Waylon is stopping traffic because we're going to miss ellen there goes Waylon. Look at him. We run out of the limo, and I had to even miss all the photograph, all the photographs and stuff. And and so we ran straight to Ellen, and and yes, yeah, so she kind of hands me the microphone, and and you know Ellen is so witty, and 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 it gets uh, it gets pretty interesting. But but we have a good time, and I have a good time doing the show with Ellen, and she's really really great for. Uh, you know, great kind of champion for country music, and, and we love being on her show. I got to ask you: Is this is this guy everywhere? With you, he's uh, he's pretty. Uh, <laughs> he, he's on the. So he, how's life? And what we're talking about is you're being videoed here. As, yeah, for as we my speak. LB, my LB TV guy, right? Michael so, Monica, he, you know, or uh, or Black Mike on the uh, on the uh, as as he's known worldwide now, and I think he takes he takes the most pride in, in kind of being my twin. So, uh. ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second installment of. Can Michael Monaco take lime juice in the eye? But uh, but yeah, we you know we feel like uh, the LBTV thing is uh, in 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 Monaco is um, is just done a great job at creating um, you know the weekly uh, the weekly webisodes where people can go and uh, kind of check in and see what we're doing on a weekly basis. And what's fun is uh, my crew and everybody on the road. You know, we sit around and watch it and laugh at at <laughs> us, really? and at it, it's it's really fun. I don't really see a reason why not to share it with Ed, you guys. Ed, Ed, hey, what? hey, I'm just seeing if this works. Why don't you answer me? Do you not see what's going on here? I'm conducting an interview. You know, we incorporate our crew guys, and I mean, we have guys that you know backstage and and no one would ever get to know who they are but they've shown up on lbtv and and you know now a fan will see them and be like uh what's up you know and and, they, and my you know my guys are looking at them like how do you know me and then they they remember they right. did a lbtv thing so i think it's just fun to uh to uh let let the fans see us um cutting up and having fun and 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 doing you know doing what we do out on the road which is have the time of our lives and we're counting down the hits with luke bryan as you mentioned earlier you're just and i appreciate you coming over here because you're really just taking your lunch break from recording some new music uh man you know what what's what's crazy about it is uh it's we're we you know i literally walked out of my out of my uh, out of the studio with a song that I was just I'm in love with so it was fun to leave on that that oh, wow. on that high of of just recording a great new song and I just feel like we've got some songs that are really going to change the game for me and and uh I'm so I've never wow. been this comfortable going into a recording situation where I just felt like I feel like I'm the quarterback and I got the biggest and best lineman blocking for me with this album, I feel like I have songs that I'm really going to sing like I've never sang before. I just feel like these songs put me in different situations that fans may have not have heard uh, this type of, uh, of singing that I've done from even, you know, a slower love song to a, a, mid -impo, a mid tempo deal. You just kind of mature and, and learn your strengths and weaknesses and learn what you're good at and what you're yeah, not good yeah. at. And I feel like I know that you know a t you know so much more now where are you in the new album process in the beginning middle end well we're in a, this is our second day of cutting oh, okay. and so we probably just... have oh well, we're just getting started we you know we've uh, we've cut um gosh i guess uh, we've cut about six songs and 
you know, we'll wind up cutting anywhere between uh, 15 and 20 songs. Talking new music. Luke Bryan's our co-host this week. And, you know, this doesn't happen very often where the guy sitting in that chair actually has the number one hey, song in the uh, USA. It's amazing. It doesn't happen much. So it's, congratulations. Uh, it's such an honor to be here and, and see my name at the top of the charts. And Jeff Stevens is my producer, and uh, you know I can never give him enough credit in this this game of of music. Jeff Jeff goes, hey guys, what do you think of this? Uh, I got a song called "Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye." I got an idea, and here's the the lick, and it's the lick that you're hearing. Down, 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 down. Jeff played that on the guitar, and we sit down, and I said the first line: "All we do right is make love." And Jeff started typing on his computer, and then I never will forget. Uh, Shane, Shane said, uh, "Take off your leaving dress. Let's do." I mean, and we just started wow. flying with it, and it was like fireworks were happening. And I promise you, it was just like wham, bam, done. And we felt like it was something special right then, and, and it, it, it recorded that way, wow. and the fans loved it. And here we are, number one song. 